Okay. So a motorcyclist, uh, actually, I should probably tell you what question this is. 2009, question free. I'll let you read it. Okay. So what's important? It's a motorcyclist traveling around a circle of radius 100 meters. So if it's flat and horizontal, the motor is traveling. So that means there's no incline. Um, so that's an important motor traveling at a speed. V equals 32 meters per second. The motorcycle to ride has a mass of 250 kilograms. Mass equals 250 kilograms. So if you draw it out, it's pretty obvious what we need. What is the magnitude of the net force of the motorcyclist with the rider? Oh, my cheat sheet. Um, yeah, I scrumpled it. Well, it's a circular motion question. So the force, we know if it's going in a circle, there's always a force going inwards. And that force equals mv squared on r. And we have all the situations here. We're just trying to find the net force. This is the net force. This force is the net force. For it to go in a circle. Therefore, this m force equals 250 times 32 squared on 100 equals two fifty times very two squared divided by hundred. Two five six zero newtons. Two five six zero. All right, great. Now I'll let you have a look at the question. not so hard. Just like we said before, there must be a net force. Remember, if it says net force, if anything is traveling on a circle, I don't care if it's in the space or if it's, if it's in space or if it's on the moon or if it's on the water, if it's traveling in a circle, the net force is always inwards, net. Like I don't care if it has like someone pushing a rocket this way or if there's gravity here or if it's like being shot by a laser beam this way. It doesn't matter because if it's traveling in a circle, its acceleration is always inwards, and therefore its net force is inwards. That sound is very annoying. Um, just give me a second. Okay, so that's it for that.